assuming that you have been approached by an automobile showroom company to help them manage their vehicle database, create a database named Magari, Magari a Swahili word meaning vehicles. So right click on the screen and create the Magari. Just a simple stuff like this, enable the content and then let's navigate to the serious work. We have a very large table here and the requirement is design two tables from the large table. In other words, normalize this table, make it more simpler and more efficient in terms of data organization. So cars, we obviously know that each car should have the owner, value of the car, year, type, registration number and the car make. Owners, we know every owner should have the ID and also the name. These are the attributes which describe the entities here. So right now we're going to, we can start with either owners or even the cars. I'm going to start with owners. So right away, create table design. So we have owner ID and owner name. Owner ID is the primary field of this field. And you can see from the table that owners ID is M0001, a letter, a letter followed by four digits. And that's why we are told down here, prepare appropriate input mask to validate registration number and ID. So input mask for owner ID will be automatically a letter M followed by four digits, one, two, three, four. Zero is used to refer any digit between one and nine, zero and nine. So after that, now you can save, okay. You must save and call it owners. Right away, you will notice that if I start typing, I don't need to type letter M, I just type 0001 and I type the name of this owner. And this person is Faith M. This is Faith M. Then you have 0002. So M002 is, my name is Jacob W. Jacob W. 0003 is with the name of 003, the person is Dan C, and then 4 is Rachel R. We have Dan C, and the fourth one, 0004, is Rachel R. So in this case, you don't need to type all these names. We already have only four owners here. So don't type uh, or repeat type in M001 times 2. No, it is still the same thing person. That means table owners is completely done. Right now, we navigate to the next table, which is uh, uh, cars. And each car can be described by car make, registration number, type, year, value, and the owner of this ID. Avoid these messages. Owner ID. So, right now we're going to create a table in database. We have car make. Then followed by, so you'll notice that that is here. Then we have the value of the car. You'll notice that value is a it's a reserved word, so you can change it to value C. But under the caption, you can type the value itself. Do not reject. Likewise, here is also a reserved word, but no problem with this. Then after value, we have for uh, the owner in this table. Registration number is the primary key, and the registration number has three letters followed by a space, three digits, and a letter. So, direct go go to input mask. Make sure that we have selected registration number. So, it is three letters, and letters can be represented by letter A. A A A, followed by a space, three digits, and then finally with letter. Uh, it is different letters. Letter A. Uh, go to the ear. The value of ear is a number, and the value of this car can be currency. And the owners, owners. So concerning the owners, we can just look up the owner from an existing table. Remember, we have table owners here, and we can just get the two values like this, and we can sort them according to owner ID. Though it's not a must, and this is what we shall be having. You can choose to hide the colon, ID, or just unhide. Then you can do the next. 
uh, enable data integrity and then finish the table must be saved before relationship can be created save now oh so it means through this process we will be solving question c okay save now this one is uh, cars and the table will be created in that way you will find that automatically we have created relationship between the two tables as you can see here so you can start right away feeding the table vehicles or cars the first car you can make is toyota the check number is kbd followed by a space 949 you will notice that the space is automatically added because of the input mask type this one is a code the year is 2010 value is 1,200,000 so the next question is create form named car details with with a heading and owner details use them to add car details and owner details respectively so to create a table just select the table to create a form select the table and create use form wizard add all these fields next and then you type the head and just type car details don't know whether this is the right name card details and then you finish same applies to owners create wizard add details next next owners details finish so you can use these forms to capture data all of them like we have already captured for the owners we already have four owners so we don't need to use this form for now the car details you have only one record so just click here to go to the next and the next one is Toyo uh, Nissan. Just type in Nissan. Registration number is KCT 149E. KCT 149E. And the year uh, is so the type. The type is one. One. Year 2010. Cost is. 25000000 and the owner of this car is Jacob. Next, and add another one like he. So that's how you do that to capture data using the tables, uh, using the forms. So, in case your data is not reflected in the tables, just click refresh button and it will be reflected or the table will be updated. So, the next quiz is. Inside the record below, having the following respective details. So, we are going to insert it in the cars. So, the car is Volkswagen. This is KCV 321B. And the tire is Bill. Bill. Then we have 2012. And the cost is one three two five zero zero zero. And the owner of this person of this car is zero zero two J, like that. We have answered question A. Add a column into the car table labeled date of service and add the following date, dates. Save the change is made. So you can just add it somewhere here after the owner or anywhere you want. Just add it here. Okay, just go to review the view and then add date of service and this data type is date and save go back to the table and update so for so the dates have been updated successfully so the next question is Create a query that retrieves a list of cars and their owners to be serviced on 21st October or on 22nd November. So create a query and just go to query wizard. Okay, what we need is list of cars and their owners. So we need car make registration number. Then after registration number, we need date of service and also need the owners from the owner's table, owner ID and the owner name next and this query should be named as service query query 
then finish. And this is the list we have in here, all of them. But we need specifically this, uh, the cars which will be serviced on 21st. So just check the date of service column where it intersects with criteria. This is the cell. And then you type this either 21st October. So 21st 10, 2021. And run the query. And we shall see only one car. But we have been given another criteria or it should be 22nd 11 2021. That's here. And the list will increase by one. So that's how you create the query. Save it. You can see the query here. And you can also view the SQL format of the code applied. This is the code. Select cars. Yes, you can see the query here at the bottom. So view the query direct. The next question is create a tabular report named new cars, new of cars, display the cars and their owners, indicating the number of cars each owner has, so the record with name in ascending order. So create reports, report wizard, we need cars and their owners. So you can just take car make, position number, type, year, value, owner, and uh, we also need the owner's name. We also need the owner name. This is the little bit. Then next, we can group this data by the owner. And then after that, we also need what? Do I, do I add any grouping? You can also group by the owner again. Yes, like that. Then, we can apply sorting by name. Maka make. And it can work. Then next, we'll set it to landscape. And then next, write the name of the report new. It's a NUMD of S. Finish. So this is our report. Modify it to accommodate the visible fields like this one. Just reduce the field size. It's still not visible. We need to modify the report again. And then type. Let's drag it like this. Type. Then we have the year. We only need to push the year so that we may create room for the value. It will be visible like this. But now we need the total, the number of cars each owner has. Therefore, go to design view, click group and sort, then group by owner ID, then click more. Then from more, there is with no total, select totals on what? On car organization number. You want to count values and show subtotal in group foot. This is what we need. Then view the report. We shall find the first one as two, the other one three. Like that. But we don't know the meaning of the three, the two, the one. So we need to go back again to the report design and modify here. Add some label and tell the computer or the viewer which what is the meaning of the count number of cars the number of cars then we reduce it like this open back and we can see number of cars two number of cars three number of cars and so and so on so that's how we perform the calculation in a report next question is create a report named total value report that computes and displays the total value of the cars owed by each owner create report wizard the report should contain the owners you can just pick owner name and id then the cars what we need from the cars is the registration number and maybe the value of this car then next group by owner id yes by owner id then after that nothing else landscape finish and you can see the car values are here we need now to compute the total for each owner so group and as you did go to more no totals no i want totals on the value 
and in values what I want is the sum so show subtotal in group footer now go back to view and we shall find that the subtotals have been added as you can see Faith spent 3.3 .3 million Jacob 4.725 and so on and so on so the last question is print each of the following to print with just simple control plus p select your printer and then boom you have already printed you're done if it's about the owners of the table just control p and select your right printer card details control p the same thing otherwise this marks the end of our video and therefore if this is your first time to visit our channel please hit the subscribe button and be notified of the future updates that is good thank you for your time